So hi there, a very warm welcome to all of you in this wonderful day where today we are going to explore about ourselves. See, you have joined this MCJ Accounting Training Institute to learn the basics of being an accountant or being a tax consultant. So there are some things which we have to look into to make sure that we are going in the right way. So I so take I up this opportunity to speak before you, to guide you, to help you and to inform you some things that we have to take care of or some things that we should know to be better than what we are. Okay. Now there's one device, iPad. May I know your good name? It, you joined right now. What's your good name? Sorry, Shushmita, is that your device, sir? Shushanti, is that your okay. device? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you are having two devices now. Congratulations. Nice. So, let us now get into what drives us to push us ahead. Do you know when a vehicle is not working, what will happen? It won't go ahead by itself. Huh? We need to push, sir. My yes, Lord. we need to push that. Same thing happens in our life also. Sometimes we will be demotivated. We will not have enough energy. We will not have enough courage to go ahead. Yes, Why I am getting this thought now is because yesterday, after the completion of the assessment test, I showed you one picture which I drew. That made me think. For those who did not uh, uh, wait till the end. See, I drew this thing and I explained that way to success is easy. You should just get upon one step on the other. It's easy task. But it's very questioning also. You find that you are making a lot of mistakes. You got a lot of frustrated. Not only because of your career, not only because of your work life, not only because of your personal life, but because of your thoughts itself, you get frustrated in many things. You need to face some insults also. When you have not done any mistake, you tend to face those things also. You have to. There might be some rejections also when you're going for an interview with a positive note, when you're starting with a good mindset that I will be successful in this career. There might be rejection also in that journey. Or there might be some failure also with your ideas, with your thoughts. You might have planned, I will do like this, I'll get the result like that and then I will be this way. Don't we make those things in, thinking Yes, sir. We try to map all the things and we try to say, I will start doing this and within these many days, I'll be this and I'll do that. I'll be happy in my life. We all are human beings and we have the same nature here. And we tend to do all these things. Sir. And then we end up with a doubt. Yes. Yes, sir. Exactly. Very true. Even after reaching the highest pedestal, even after reaching the highest place, if we are at this place now, now comes the question, why this colorway? I am trying to find a success, but how to be here? So, let's look into these aspects now. Yes, sir. So my question to you, the first question that I'm asking you is, in this journey, we are well aged now to think about ourselves, to think about our past. You know, from a small kid, how we were, during our school days, college days, and now when we are independent, how we are, 
you know those things sir but one question that always comes with me is does it feel complicated does it feel difficult or do you feel it challenging do you have a negative thought about what might happen last one sir ask this question to yourself and respond okay so i am happy that you are comfortable not much okay good if there is anything you can talk with me you can give yes. me a personal call it's okay if you do not want to disclose in front of everyone na but respond this is for your better man itself if you yes. find something difficult there is a alternative way to improve there was one girl in my previous seventh batch as i recall she could not speak english she was not comfortable with the way she was treated in her office she expressed those things with me i guided her told her you learn english this way daily some practices i would used to give and over a period of time she became confident with english her office culture where she was not comfortable she now knows how to manage those emotions when someone tries to insult you ignore it it's easy to say than to practice sir. but there are some methods by which you can avoid such insults yes sir yes sir if you're finding a task challenging that also has some way a person could not start reading a book he wants to read a book but he is not able to how to get that done i myself am that candidate i found that it is very challenging to read but with practices with some ideas with some trigger points i made sure that i am reading so any issues that you have any negative thoughts you have put it out in front of someone who can help you because those negative not thoughts must be nullified you have to remove those negative thoughts if you are being overweight now that's also a issue that's also a negative thought that you are not comfortable with your own body yes sir it's easy to gain than to lose mm. when it comes to weight <laughs> not <Yes>. money <laughs> not money yes <laughs> not money not with your prestige not with a good name it's not easy to gain a good name a good respect it's not easy to gain and you can lose it with it within minutes the respect that you earned the good name yes but when it comes to weight it's the other way around we gain it quickly because of mm -hmm. our own habits if you're feeling comfort un uncomfortable with yourself that's a negative thought and you have to start looking for a solution to that and there are ways i myself i lost nearly 8 kg in the from, from the past you can say 2 months not to 3 months with practice you can do that there are some habits which you have to grow to or based on your lifestyle based on your eating habit based on your emotions you have need to bring some changes there is a solution for any collaboratory happening yes sir if this question you have answered or you need some more question huh? or does it feel excited manageable 
Stay by this one. Or else, what can I say? Uh, complex. <laughs> And positive thought about what might happen. <clears throat> you might have these also positive thoughts, like you feel excited. You feel you feel willing to do something good. You want to manage things. You feel that it is manageable. It is complex, but I will sort it out. You look yourself in which side you are. These are two opposite sides. Yes, sir. One is with complete negative thoughts. Taking like, it's complicated. I'm not able to do that. It's very difficult. It's not my piece of cake. Mm. It's very challenging to me. And I'm not that uh, person. That's something where we are negative with our thoughts. It might be anything. Subject learning wise, work wise improvement wise or being organized wise any aspect it can be on the other side it's on a positive thought very much excited huh? tomorrow i'm getting an opportunity to talk in front of uh, 300 persons i will make the best out of it if you're given one difficult task okay i will try to manage i will think i will talk with someone and i will manage that work there's a difficult task which no one can do and you are assigned with that worker. It's complex, but still there is a way out. I will try to find out a way. So which side of person you are? So speaking with that, uh, when we see there is a negative side, There is a negative side and there is a positive side. Normally, we tend to be in between. Exactly, sir. It's good if you are in between. Balanced. Yeah, balanced. Balanced. Balancing. But if you are completely on the negative side, eh, there must be something done with that. Okay. It's not about all the aspects I'm saying. Any one aspect also. But even overconfidence is too bad, sir. Overall? Overconfidence is also no, not too good, sir, actually. <laughs> I, yeah, I agree with that. Others, what's your opinion? Overconfidence? It's not overconfidence. We should push ourselves to do. There'll be two result. Yes or no? Yes. But when, yes, you, when you not don't good. do, it's always negative. Yes. Not good stuff. It's not good. When you are overconfident, it is not good. And you have to look at the outcome of that. Whenever you are taking any decision based on your experience or based on your gut feeling, you have to look what will be the outcome of that. Yes. Sometimes even a right decision will trouble many. Yes, sir. So I don't yes. say take a wrong decision. Huh? Look something which is feasible, which goes between the lines. So each person will have their own ups and downs. Life is meant to be up with ups and downs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how we manage that? How do we make most of that? Is the question. How we make most of that means how we take the maximum benefit of the ups and downs. Even when we are down with something, we can take the best advantage of motivating ourselves to be a much more higher person. Yes, sir. 
much more better person. Sometimes when you are not feeling good with something, sometimes when you are down to the low thoughts that something is going very wrong, I'm not comfortable with anything, I have to stop doing everything. And that's the moment where you trigger with some best ideas. And there's one rule in life. Wise people say that always reflect what have you already done. We'll take up many things in our mind saying that I will do this, that. I want to be this, that. I will achieve this, that. Look, what have you done till now? That's the main question. Ask yourself first thing. Look, what have you done till now? Where are you? Look into that. <laughs> you know what was your expectation about yourself? When it comes with others, we are very, uh, what, super uh, guide there. Judgmental, yeah. We, we become very judgmental, yes. It's not like this. You should not be like that. You should be a good person. You should do like this. You should do like that. We guide others. But are we doing what we are planning to be? Are we following that? Yes, are we following that? Which we tell to others. <laughs> yes, which we tell to others and which we tell to ourselves. Sometimes... There are some things that we tell to ourselves. From tomorrow yeah. onwards, I will stop drinking Sprite, Cola, Coke. And the very first thing that person will do getting up in the morning is drink Coke from the fridge. <laughs> yes, sir. There are some food habits which we are addicted to because the company is making you addict towards that. They earn the money against your health. I know it tastes very good when you have those soft drinks along with you with some food. What food do we eat? We eat some high fatty foods. We want our dosa, our bread, our chapati, our idli, everything stuffed with cheese, everything stuffed with high fatty things. And we are having a goal of becoming thin. <laughs> when you are having two opposite things eh, you will be on the negative side itself yes, you are having a positive thought but doing negative actions what's your actions that will be the outcome I have completely stopped drinking the soft drinks from past you can say some 7-8 years I never when I go to a restaurant, I never order that. Instead, I have buttermilk. Tender coconut. In restaurant, normally, buttermilk is readily available. I have it. Yes. That too, without getting it cold. See, oh, having yes. cold drinks also, it it, um, it uh, makes a chaos with your uh, digestive system. It will trouble your digestive system also. Drinking things that are cold is not good for your digestion. So one thing you should start doing from today, now onwards is reflect what you are, what you have already done. Also understand what you have learned from it. Can I share one experience of mine? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Some 
seven years ago, eight years ago, when I was not good with my health, at that time, a close friend of mine, you can say a colleague of mine, my previous uh, working place, he reached me and he said, you are a very smart guy. I remember when you were uh, working, you were very smart with your work. We will do some work together. Okay. I will help you. Whatever you have forgotten, I will help you. I will guide you. You come back to what you are. We will do a business together. I was not comfortable with that idea because I had to go back to Bangalore. I was comfortable being at my home, sleeping, eating food and sleeping. That's it. I was very much comfortable with that because of my health issue. But he made me come out of that habit which I created and we started working together. I could not remember things rightly. When he gave me a work, I said I am not able to remember. He would say, go through some uh, materials, read something, do it. I could not read also. I could not watch the computer. The way I am talking with you, writing things, I could not do anything of that. But in spite of that, I tried a lot. But it was not going in a good way. He gave me one idea. You develop one software. You are good in developing software. Na? You develop one software. That kicked my energy. I was very much uh, excited when it came anything with the computer. With Excel. With Tally. Those kind of works I enjoy. So he told me develop one software. I took almost two and a half months sitting in front of the computer trying to understand Visual Basic, trying to understand SQL, trying to understand Microsoft Access. I developed one software. He promised me giving some money for that. Let me put some numbers there. He promised me giving 20,000 for that work because it is worth that. The business needed it in any cost. They are okay with paying. I trusted him, developed that and gave it to him. But one thing I understood at that moment is never trust anyone when it comes with money. <laughs> yes, sir. So that is my experience from that day on, still now and further also. Whenever it comes to work, respect that work, respect the person who has given that work, but be sure with your fees. For the efforts we have put in, we will not be rewarded sufficiently if we do not take care about that. I'm not blaming him. I'm not blaming anyone. It's a lesson that I had to learn from that. I respect that person for the efforts he has put in. Because of him, at least I got active for two and a half months. Na? Yes, sir. So, other incidences that I can put forth is regarding losing weight. I tried being at a gym. He guided me with the diet. I followed the diet he was telling me. I lost half kg weight. Happy boy. <laughs> with that happiness, I started stopping to go to the gym. And I put on one and a half cages. So sometimes it's not about checking your way. It is about being comfortable with what you are doing. I was doing it forcibly because many were asking me to get better. better. I did not do it by my own interest. I did not go to the gym by my own interest. <laughs> Not by others' interest. Yes. You never do a work when others are telling you to do it. Do it only when you are comfortable doing that. Unless you get comfortable, you won't get the result out of it also. This is called work In professional, so it is called work satisfaction, sir. Work? Work satisfaction. Yeah, work satisfaction is required very much. Yes, sir. So
So evaluate yourself from now onwards. Write it down. Start buy a book, 20 rupees, 30 rupees. You can get even notebook. Start writing. I know we have lost the habit of writing because of that uh, click uh, technology. We are always tapping the fingers for typing. Uh, write. Look at the benefit that you get from that. I know you want to be better. These are some ideas that I will share with you for your better. To open up the doors, to understand yourself. To be what we want to be or to go where we want to go, we must first understand ourselves. Hello? True, sir. True, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, look into what you have learned from your past decisions. When you are clear with that, look, where do you go? From here. You are here at this position because of many reasons. You are at MCJ because of many reasons. Someone might have told you, you might have seen an ad, you might get that information from your colleague. Many reasons are there. But you are here for a purpose. Where do you go ahead from here is your decision. How better you go from this institution or how better you go from this experience that you are having. This is also going to add as an experience. Like the all previous experiences you had in your life. This will also add up to a pile of experiences. Look how better this experience is in guiding you what to be or guiding you where you want to be. Never underestimate yes, your sir. potential. You are the, you have the potential to be the best. It doesn't matter if you are not able to talk, it's okay. You can talk within days. That skill is not a big thing. With practice, anyone can do whatever they want. There's no limitations with that. I actually am not able to see my own face on my screen. But still, I am not able to see what I've written here. It's not visible to me. But I can come near to it, na? to read. Now I can see. Some efforts should be put, sir. Yeah, we have to put in some efforts. If the thing that we want is not coming near us, we can go there. Na? We have to go. Yes, sir. I want in to Hindi. In Hindi, there is a one proverb, sir, actually. What is it? Pyaase ko kuwe kabhi pyaase ke paas nahi aata hai. Pyaase ko kuwe ke paas jana padta hai. That means... प्यासे को कुएं के पास जाना पड़ता है पानी निकाल कर पीना पड़ता है वरना वो पानी भी अपने आप मुंह में नहीं आएगा यस यस सर यस और पानी पीकर उसको ही वो पानी को नीचे ले जाना है मतलब वंस यू पुट द वाटर इन द माउथ इट विल नॉट गो बाय इटसेल्फ यू हैव टू फॉलो दैट यू हैव टू गिव यस मीनि Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, it's our opportunity to prove others that we are nothing but the best. How can we prove that we are the best? Only by our actions. Never give up your thoughts. Never start telling to someone else, from tomorrow onwards, I will start losing weight. From tomorrow onwards, I'll be the best. I want to be the best. I will start studying every day. You see how good I will improve. When you start saying those things, yes, you are talking about those things. 
but your actions are not started. Yes, if you sir. want to be the best, start doing it with actions. It's not by words that should start. I know you want to improve your language. You want to improve your mailing skills, your computer skills, your tally shortcut skills, Excel shortcut skill, accounting skill. You want to improve. True. I know. Even if you're not writing it in your journal or you're not writing it in any book, I can understand those things. But those things you will get only when you do the action towards that. Having a thought is just a point of initiation. That you want to do something. You know what you want. But if you want to get the results, your action is important. There is one science behind it. Huh? We always tend to do something which will give us most happiness. Whenever we want to read, we will pick our mobile to watch a video regarding the class. But we tend to open WhatsApp, YouTube or any social media and we get into that. It's because we get happiness, instant happiness we are getting there. Start getting bored from tomorrow onwards. From now on, start getting bored. If you find that reading is boring, start doing that. If you find that jogging, walking, meditating is boring thing, start doing that. I know you won't get happiness from that, but you will get 100 times benefits than that false happiness you get by using the mobile. <laughs> but one the appreciate model is that Sir, sorry, sir, really. It's okay. okay, okay. I thought you are talking with me. It's okay. Yes. I know doing some things might feel boring. Opening a book, eh, who wants to read a novel? Uh, so that I'll watch my mobile. Instagram, I'll see today. I know you get happy with those videos, but those happiness are only for that moment. You won't carry things with you. Get into some things which will add value to you. Eating all those uh, photography good things like burger, pizza, cheesy things, uh, fatty things, uh, drinking coke. All those are advertised in the way like if you have those things with you, you are the best person. They make money with that and they spoil your health. It won't yes. add any value to your body. Now they started putting things like no MSG, no artificial color, no flavor, zero oil, this thing, that thing. But we know what are the things behind that. Even a baby oil does not have any natural oil. It is using mineral oil. The oil that comes from petroleum, diesel, that oil they are putting in the baby oil. Look how wonderfully they are marketing things. They show in the advertisement of putting that oil to a child and the child is getting soft skin. And we are not looking into the content of that and buying those things blindly. We are seeing only advertisement. Yes. We are getting influenced by those marketers. They are smart guy. I respect those marketers for their smartness, but they are making us dumb. They are making us follow their words blindly and we are losing our opportunity to improve our health, improve our knowledge or improve. We are guided by them because of their marketing strategy. Can't we be wise from now onwards? Yes, sir. All those instant noodles might give you instant happiness. But that instant noodles is backed up with many side effects. Pula.
So look into where are you right now and where you want to go ahead. Have a plan. Start. Let's start planning about our future. Let's start yes, understanding where we want to be ahead. If you think something is impossible, na, try to make it possible. Yes, sir. Let's not keep this thought eh, only when we are having this session. I know we get motivated when listening like these words eh, and the very next moment we open YouTube, we get back to what we are. The very next day, after a week, after a month, we tend to forget these things. We will remember, ah, yes, we okay. have a session like that. Eh. Some points were said, eh. yes, I have to do that. Again, we tend to be that same person we are. That should not happen. We, should, like, we are in a loop, actually. We are in a loop. New Year resolution, sir. It is just like a New Year resolu resolution. Every year, same resolution. <laughs> I put on 10 kilos weight, I have to lose that. <laughs> He's saying the same resolution from the past five years. He has put on 50 kgs weight now. <laughs> in total. <laughs> we have to break that loop. And we have to find a way. There are many ways to break that loop of being back what we are. We should be better than what we are. Yes, sir. See, you should know how to deal with regret. Do you know what is regret? Pashatapa. Mm, Pashatapa. In Canada, we say Pashatapa. Hindi also, Pashatapa. Pashatapa. We both have a lot of distance, but we have to say that we have to do something. We have to do something. We put the blame on the life, saying that life is this itself. You can't do what we want to do. We end up with the negative thoughts itself. Yeah. Not putting the blame on us sometimes, putting the blame on the life or something. Sometimes we put blame on ourselves itself. I can't do whatever I want to do. I have a friend of mine. Every time I call her, she appreciates about me. She's elder to me. She appreciates about me what I am doing. And she says, I can't improve with my skills. I have been practicing uh, accounting from the past 10 years, but still now I don't know the basic things. I can't learn anything. She has that negative thought within her. She's in that same loop again and again. When you're in the same loop, you cannot come out of it. Come out of it. Stop saying those negative things that you are doing with you. Never regret yourself. Be happy for whatever you have done till now. I am saying one thing. Remember now. Be happy for whatever you have done till now, whether it is something good or whether it is something bad, let's close all those chapters now. Those are past experiences. We cannot change them. Yes. Let's have a new start from now onwards. This moment you are having a new start and start thinking wisely. We are not just animals. We are a smart person here. Yes, sir. We are not guided by some wind, some natural forces. We can decide and do accordingly. Let's be that smart person from now onwards. Yes, sir. So do not regret for anything which you have missed. You might say, 10 years ago, I got one opportunity to learn, but I did not learn. I had to go for that work, but I did not go. I got married. I am having kids now but I'm not able to do anything. It's my life. No, don't regret about those things. Be happy that you have done all your work responsibly, happily. Exactly, sir. Take everything positively, whatever you have done. Even if there is something which you made a wrong decision earlier, it's okay. What's the big thing in that? You can change yourself and be better now, na? Yes, sir. <clears throat> So, deal with the regret rightly. Make the regret end up in a positive note and come out of that negative loop. 
that's the way i'm giving you idea to break that loop hmm. you should be a true reflector of your actions actually you should be true reflector of your word your word should be converted into actions we have spoken about it earlier so be a reflector of what your thoughts are always think something and once you think do it immediately yes, if you are thinking tomorrow morning i have to do exercise 10 i have to walk for 10 minutes what you do is now itself stand up and take some 10 buskis you know that buskis na holding your ear you take up yes, and down or else or else at least jump 10 times as a appreciation tomorrow i am going to do exercise for 10 minutes now i am starting i have started that exercise tomorrow morning i will get up put an alarm have a trigger point make something that helps you to wake up early sleep early in the night that will help you to wake up early there are some ways to get out of the loop i will be happy to guide you talk with me if you need any help i am able to talk about these things because practically i have experienced and i am talking with my experience yes sir so let your actions reflect your commitments you might have commitments hundreds of commitment i will eat only good food commitment from now no oily food bajji bonda everything i will stop okay very good do it with your action when you go along with your friends sir they will force you eat vanda eat vanda nothing is it's okay today only na you can get the opportunity to eat everyone na? who has seen tomorrow today eat one <laughs> <laughs> isn't that the isn't that the that arrow they leave with it and they say who has seen tomorrow eat it same line sister yes they do that because they are also in the same loop they want to lose their weight they want to be better but they don't want others to be better let's spoil others and we be spoiled i completely stop that when i go out with my friends i say no they order cool drinks they drink those sprite whatever those aerated drinks are there they have that they order one for me also i say no uh, let me have buttermilk if they don't have buttermilk i'll have water you know good i'm good with that we ourselves should start changing it no one will come in this help of being a better person we can do it only by our own efforts so whatever commitment you are starting now start writing it down i want you to have a reference point let you let every one of us have a personal book one book which is meant for our own thoughts why i am asking you to write it down because you need a evidence that you have written it when you write it you are making a evidence in this world that you have written it when you are thinking you might not execute it but when you are writing it it means you have started doing it yes sir i will read one page every day if i write that i will read one page every day i have started that work already with my writing i have started that i am committed now i can't disrespect myself isn't it when others disrespect it we will shout at them how oh, one thing i told huh? you can't do that one thing but can we disrespect ourselves Yes. let's stop disrespecting ourselves let's start with some good habits write it down put a happy tick when you have done it 
अप्रिशिएट युअर सेल्फ कट युअर बैक से शाबाश इट्स ओके आई कैन अश्योर यू यू विल पुट बेटर स्टेप्स अहेड वेन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग दीज थिंग्स स्टार्ट राइटिंग डाउन युअर कमिटमेंट put a tick whenever you have done that be happy for that it will boost up your energy and you will start with good habits for sure now one important thing we need is getting the book if you don't have a book at your home use any paper but keep it at a confidential place it should not be something which is flying here and there keep it at your personal place you have to look at that paper in the morning and before going to bed these small habits will keep you connected with your commitments and daily you will be guided positively i know it seems like it's a difficult task but we are the best persons we know how to handle difficult tasks we start with good habits by doing that action daily small things but it matters a lot at least by saying that that will trigger us sir Yes. True. Yes. True. Yes. One more important thing that will help you reach your goal is look who is along with you. you have to look primarily at who your friends are your friends will normally misguide tomorrow you can do that reading uh, last minute before the exam we can study it uh, it's nothing it's very easy they will give big words for you so that you get uh, uh, easy your relatives sometime will demotivate hey irle bidu weight ella kammi madukagutte there is one exercise which we can do we can lose the weight easily enjoy enjoy uh, it's okay you are eating at home itself na uh. eat it okay or sometimes you yourself can misguide yourself that's also there look who is along with you if you have some negative friends eh, try to ward off them come out of their company i have some friends in my city uh, in my uh, there are some friends of mine eh, who always talk negative about others they get happiness with that because that's the practice they have been having for many years mm, yes, i be along with them they converse they laugh but i don't respond to anything of that i know the matter they are talking it also gives me happiness when i listen <coughs> but i do not comment upon that i do not say bhuda ha is it so then what happened ha tell me then no i am not concerned about those i have other things other better things to look in my life why get into those uh, chitter chatter talk so so they do not listen to anyone who is going positive if i am losing my weight if i am looking better if i am doing good with them something they start thinking negatively oh he has become a big person now ha huh? is uh, not liking our company ha huh? no it's okay with me such kind of talks avoid such kind of friends you should you need someone to go in line with your thoughts someone who appreciates you for your right actions you are taking i'm not saying uh, be friend everyone and uh, don't have any friends uh, be alone uh, no no <laughs> that's also not good eh? don't get into those talks with them don't get too personal with someone if someone is misguiding you avoid them that's it that's the reason i asked in the first eh? are you having negative thoughts about yourself about your life about your future about your decisions if that's the case first you have to correct yourself with your thoughts 
because if a plant thinks that it can't grow, will that plant grow? No, sir. Same with us also. If we have negative thoughts about ourselves, it's not actually negative. We ourselves are making it negative. It's actually we are the best. But we are enforcing, we are overpowering ourselves and making us negative. Let's come out of that loop. I was into depression when I met with my accident. I was with a lot of negative thoughts. I know how that situation is. The way I used to keep myself happy was overeating. When I eat a lot, I was getting a very, very much happiness. That was my only way of happiness. Thinking negatively, getting angry, eating a lot. Same thing, even I will do, sir. Yes. <laughs> if I get angry, I will eat more. <laughs> yes. There are other ways of coming out of that anger. There are other ways of understanding that by us becoming anger, we aren't able to change this world. The world will go as it wants to. The way we are stubborn with something. See, we have our own way of thinking. And we want to appreciate our own thoughts and we go by our own way. Right or wrong, it is secondary. I am talking about our thoughts. now. We don't listen to others because we have our own way. The same way is the other person. Na? That person won't listen to us. That person will do whatever he wants or she wants. So let's appreciate what others wants. Let them do whatever they want. We will do whatever we want. That's one main thing that helped me come out of that negative thoughts. I started thinking about myself. I saw myself in the mirror. Hey, am I missing myself? I'm looking like a two Kirana standing here. <laughs> this is not the person I'm thinking about in future. I don't want to be a very uh, person who is a gate, who is a very big in his, uh, uh, in his body. And he's uh, not healthy also, unhealthy person. The food I was eating was unhealthy. All the things that restaurant makes, uh, cheesy things, uh, this thing, that thing. Sprite, all those things I would not uh, drink from past. Uh, during my depression also, I was not drinking those things. Uh, but other things, the food that I was eating, the quantity and the number of times I was eating in a day. So these small steps by Changing the friend circle, changing the relatives. See, talk with someone who is successful in their life. You will start to grow. If you have a friend who is successful in his career, if you have a relative, a family member who is successful in their career, in their life, talk with them. It's not about how to improve in life. Tell me now itself. No, not like that. Just have a normal conversation with that person. The way that person speaks, that way that person thinks, you will also start following that itself subconsciously. Start appreciating your parents. Do you do that? Yes, sir. Yes. Start appreciating your kids. See, everyone makes a mistake. Everyone is a human being. No one is here the, the, the best here. I mean, everyone does whatever they want. Their actions might influence your emotions because you are poking that inside you. Ignore those things. Gratitude must be your good habit. You should start being thankful to anyone who is helping you. It can be the person who is coming and delivering you the milk in the morning, giving you a newspaper, a person who is serving you at a restaurant. It can be the conductor of a bus. It can be the driver of the bus. Have you ever thanked a driver of the bus while getting down from the bus? Yes, sir. No. Good. If you have done that, it is good. 
in bangalore when i was getting down i used to thank i used to say thank you anna i used to say the conductor also when getting down thanks anna what goes wrong with that do i lose anything there no sir but when we start giving positive things we will automatically get positive things when i go to a restaurant sometimes i give tips sometimes i do not but at least i thank that person who served me the food i say thank you anna chana gift food thank you very much at the bill counter when paying food was not that good but okay uh, next time i expect something better huh? thank you sir i say something talk with that person don't be adamant a boring person who Uh, uh, don't be ignorant with things uh, appreciate whatever is there beside you and whatever you are facing look positive in everything that's the best way to be the best person yes sir so some okay one more thing that you have to take care of sir move beyond your disappointments sir and failures like i told earlier whatever is done in the past is over we can't change there might be some disappointments there might be some failure which you had in the past someone might have hurt your emotions someone might have troubled you someone might have not appreciated about the good things you have done or you might not have got the good things for what you have done part of life nothing to worry about it are you have the happiness with you be happy for whatever you have done whatever yes. you are be happy for that failures is part of life you cannot avoid it yes what you have to learn from that is whatever it is come out of that and be that person a happy person yes sir whenever i am in a trouble i do not get frustrated today i went to a town which is some 40 kilometers away i went by bus i got up i got up all at once oh. i have to get up get down at this stop i was asleep i got up and i got down from that bus that bus went some uh, what you can say 200 meters away to the bus stop when i got up to when i got down from that bus and i was getting into another bus sir huh? my glasses are not there Huh? where did i leave my glasses immediately i got some uh, thought that i might have removed it when i was asleep rapa 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 i ran but without any tension singing by the scola we we scola i took it in a positive mode understanding that i made a mistake it is not an intentional mistake in my sleep i was feeling very sweaty i might have removed it and stepped it there on the bus i did not put it in my bag i might have dropped it in the bus fortunately that bus was getting ready for its next trip i got into that bus and searched at my place that this glasses were on the floor i could have got anxious i could have got tensed but first thought that i put in my mind is it's okay if i don't get it it's okay i did not go with the negative thought what if i don't get it i have to spend this much money again i have to be without that glass as it's a very nice glass for me what will my amma say you left to one glass in bus sir. what will others say you are not with your glass are those future thinking or what might happen in the future is bakwas thinking leave those things 
be happily i went to that bus got my class fortunately i got it ha <laughs> so do not get disappointed when something happens be calm and try to find a solution yes sir in my college teachings i could not complete the syllabus their semester will end this saturday but i need some eight more hours to teach the syllabus at my college i'm not getting tense about that i told to the lecturer over there sir sorry sir my syllabus is not completed sir i have to correct some papers see these many papers i have to correct 60 papers are there i could not do that also from the past two weeks sir it's pending so i have to evaluate 60 papers 60 plus 66 papers are there plus sir, i have to complete almost 8 hours of class for which notes i have not prepared i'm not getting tense about it i will do my work on time whenever i get my time i will do that work with that thought i am doing my work if i get tense sir all the other works will go on chaos yes sir i could have skipped today's class actually today i need not do any class no one told me to do a class today i am done with my syllabus with the junior course senior course is a morning time but why did i take up this opportunity because it's my duty to guide you and whenever it is a week day i do not want to miss that opportunity to be present before you so the positive thoughts will help us to grow positively i am talking about my personal experiences here is because we always with whatever action we do think positively about the benefit of others at that time automatically we will grow it is just like watering a plant when we give water to a plant when we put some manure to the plant the plant will give more fruits to us itself it will grow better and it will help the environment and help others thousands of people there let's start being positive with all our action that is the best way to reach our goal to be at the point of success yes sir so finally some steps some easy peasy steps to improve ourselves you can note it down if you want to let me just take a look at how many of you are there very nice so i have uh, 19 18 participants are there some of you might have two devices so roughly 15 17 participants are there very good i appreciate each one of you participating am i going too fast with the concepts here is it going too technical beyond our understanding is, no, no, is sir. no sir no sir no sir you are able to no, you are able to digest it right Yes, sir. yes sir. and do you feel that whatever i am telling is on the right grounds do you agree with that yes sir yes, yes sir. sir yes sir it's part of our yes, experience sir. right yes sir so you feel like you are telling our story only sorry yes. you, sorry i didn't we get feel, we feel like uh, you are telling our story to us back yeah very yes, good sir. so there is one na uh, uh, what do we say there is one situation where we feel like someone is telling true do you know what is it called as there in english there is a word for that i am talking about thing which is a general truth it is true to everyone some persons will use to make money from that sense yes gayatri you got it right who will use that some persons will use that skill to make money they will talk about something and we feel yes yes it yes, knows about us huh? astrologist what is yes, astrologist? astrologist use it true oh, see they yeah. have a science behind the birth time huh? there is a science i know that 
I know that in the sense I have read about it and I know there is a science behind it. But most of the point, it will be applicable to everyone. Correct, sir. Yeah. They will tell those points. There are other professions also. Yes. Any other profession? Doctors. Doctors. Very good. <laughs> Lawyers. Lawyers. Lawyers sometimes, yes, they can't go with the Barnum effect because it's called as a Barnum effect. It is called as the Barnum effect and it goes through with most of them because it is a general logic. Yes. It's a general logic about those aspects and it stands true to everyone. But they won't be able to give the solution unless they have experienced it practically. I might say that you are not getting enough sleep right now. Uh, you are having some cold, you are having some knee pain, some leg pain, your body, you are feeling uncomfortable. That will be there with almost every person. But I won't be able to guide you because I don't know the medical science. Sorry. But these aspects, though it is a barnum, though it is a general, I know those aspects practically because I experienced it and with my experience, I'm putting out before you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So one new word learned, Barnum. Look into Barnum. that. B-A-R-N-U-M. It's called as a Barnum. Barnum effect. Marketers, marketers, those who do the marketing work, they will also go with this. So by putting Santur, you'll become much more uh, beautiful. Something like that. Some uh, taglines, uh, some words uh, they will use with this. What is the thought of the general? What is the thought of a person in general? They will think and based on that they will put their tagline. Yes. Many things to learn. Na? So some yes. steps to improve ourselves. Huh? The first and the foremost thing is you need to set goals. I know this is a everyone saying task and we do not do it. Put some goal in your thought. What you want to be? Short term, long term, both. I put some goals. My personal goals, I will tell you. When it comes to this year related goal, I want to read at least 12 books and I already read, read four books. Yes, sir. I want to improve learning a new language. I want to learn a language this year. Any language, it is okay. Tulu, one local language which is spoken over here, I want to learn that. I am putting in efforts. I am speaking with a friend of mine. He is teaching me some words. So that's some lines of that language. I am able to converse a bit now. I want to improve my health. I'm not saying I want to reduce my weight. I want to improve my health. To improve my health, I should have control on food. I should have control on mm. my sleep. I should be hydrated. I should drink enough water every day. And I should have positive thoughts also to have a good health. So look, with one decision of improving my health, four things are taken care of, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it is not just a namke was the goal I am doing. I am doing with a purpose. I am putting a goal before myself and I respect myself. That's why I will surely do it. I know I am a busy person. I can't read books every day. But still, I make some time. We cannot create time, but we can make time. If we have the willingness to do, anything can be done. So small things like this. Also, one more goal I am having particularly, I want to learn Vedic mathematics. There is one beautiful science behind the mathematics there. Vedic mathematics. I want to learn that. Mm. 
So things like this, small things will help you a lot. There are very lot good number of books. See here. Whatever I am telling you, it's out of the actual things. Can you see the name of the books here? Yes, sir. Atomic Habits. Yes. Very nice book. I told about Vedic Mathematics. I started it. I am not just telling it namesake. I purchased the books. I am reading it. So you can do it only when you start doing the actions. Just telling the names, keeping the book in the cupboard, you won't remove it forever. I have it readily. Whenever I want to read, I get it immediately. Yes, sir. So start setting your goals, short term, long term. Should I write it? Should we write these goals, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. Where do we write it? In a book. Very good. And when you read, you learn a lot. I'll talk about that specifically when we come across that. See, one more small habit that we can have on a daily basis. Practice gratitude. What's the meaning of gratitude? Being thankful to everyone. Yes. I'm not saying be gracious to others or do it. Practice it. Have a daily practice of that. There's a cat, which is not our house cat. It's our gully cat. It roams around all the house. Whenever it comes here and says meow, I go near it and talk with it. Respect that uh, cat also. When a crow comes in the morning and says cow cow, I talk with that crow also. Cat mom, how are you? What special do you have at your food? Today at our home, we have dosa. Two minutes, huh? Amma is making dosa. Don't reserve yourself with those uh, uh, very strict thoughts. I am a human being. Why talk with a crow? Yes, sir. <clears throat> my brother-in-law. Once my brother-in-law and sister were at their uh, uh, bedroom. They were sitting on the cot uh, and when they were going to put on the bed sheet, uh, they saw a lot of ants. My sister woke up and she started, what do you say? But, but she started doing it to throw off all the ants. My brother-in-law, hey, don't do that. Huh? All those ants will uh, uh, get a headache and they'll start vomiting. Huh? They started picking up one by one ant. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they started picking up each ant and my sister was like laughing and she was like anything. This kind of thing also. Huh? <laughs> so you can see happiness can be found even in the smallest thing. Yes, sir. Yes. He did not do it to puzzle my sister. What is this person doing? He wanted to bring happiness in my sister. That's the way my brother-in-law brought the happiness. And when your thoughts are positive, a small action done by you will give a lot of happiness to the other person. Yes, sir. It looks absurd. What is that? Uh, removing one by one ant and then uh, sleeping on the bed. It will come again. Yes. But why not enjoy that moment? <laughs> Be thankful to your parents, first of all. Speak with them. Talk with them. Be thankful to your kids also. They might be small. But we can learn a lot from them with the happiness they are having with us. With the happiness they have, even if we scold them, after an hour, they become all right. Nothing carry forward is there. <laughs> we are just like yes, the books sir. of accounts, yes. carry forward every day. Yes. Ten years back, things also we have now. You have 10 years ago, you did like this to me. Ah, I was very uncomfortable with that. For those type of... Uh, 
should pass the journal entries, sir. Uncompetent <laughs> entries. <laughs> you should not pass any journal entry. It's not your books of accounts. It's not a transaction relating to your books of accounts. Yes. It is not at all to be recorded in our books. <laughs> in our books, we should record only happy transactions. In our personal life, only happy transactions we should keep along with us and we must be happy for that things which you have got at least. Yes, sir. Even with my friends who troubled me, I never complain about them. I think about the positive things they have done to me. I've learned from them what not to be. Isn't that good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've learned from them how to do the work in the time. I've learned many things from them. I take the positive things from them and I am happy with that. Why should I blame others for the mistakes they have done? Are they? It might be a mistake from my point of view. From their point of view, it is a correct thing. Yes, sir. So let us respect others' decision, believing that it is correct from their point of view. And normally when we are stressed, I know these things might not work true, but at least let us try practicing it so that we come out of that anger, that uh, feeling uncomfortable when someone makes a mistake. Let's try to be out of that. Okay? Yes, sir. So, the next very thing is manage your anger. Do not speak when you are angry. It's not good. Yeah. When you are angry, you won't shower the flowers. You will shower missiles. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shower any flowers. It's very difficult. I know. Yeah. So what to do? Take a deep breath. Just move out of it. Call a very, call a very, call a very deep. Yes, Sanjana, anything from your side? Sumed, you are trying to say something. Just move out of that place or just keep quiet. Yes, yes, like just ignore. Can... Ignore. Yeah. It's easy to say, but we can do that. I have tried it and it works yeah. wonder. It works good. Yeah. Sorry? 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 Correct. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, you have to reduce, reduce your talk. We should control ourselves. Sir. Yes, we should control ourselves. True. How to control? If you are in front of that person or in front of that situation, you tend to talk because we do not know how to get it reduced without talking. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the problem with us. We will get satisfied only when we scold them and yes, when sir. we are angry and they say... We feel like okay. that, sir, actually, that time. Huh? Sorry? That we feel like that we have to... Say yes. something. We yes. Get After we out. yell at them uh, and they tell us sorry, we feel okay. Now it is settled. But let's not yeah. expect that sorry. So after that, we realize that so we should we would have not uh, talk like this. Yes. True. Life life is like a tennis game, sir. We we should wait until our ball until the ball comes to our court. We should wait, uh, sir. As ah. Otherwise, we will. Otherwise, we will beat the ball in the air, sir. Okay. I have a better yes, idea. Can I share that idea? Yes, sir. Yes, Play sir. with your own ball. Get one extra ball in your uh, uh, in your bag. Take that <laughs> ball and play with that ball. Na? Why wait for the other person's ball? <laughs> See, when you're emotionally disturbed, no. don't wait for other person's reaction. You do your own reaction by yourself. Come out of that. Go along with your own ball. Play along with your own ball. Don't try to wait for their ball. What that person will say, dependent on that, I will talk next. Don't think that. Leave. Ignore that factor. There is some disturbances in thoughts between two persons. We cannot go on the same line. Yes. See, whenever there is a heartbeat, there is systolic, diastolic, ups and downs, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yes, when sir. the heartbeat stops, it goes on the same line. What we should start is, we should start to have same line between two persons. When only two persons are agreeing with each other, at that time you can talk. When one person is on a high note, 
another person is on a low note how can two person agree yes it's just like a railway track true <laughs> yes sir only when two persons are aligned with each other they can understand if railway track one is going uh, east another one is going west one one track is going east one line of that other is going west how can the train go ahead yes sir the train will get derailed yes sir yes sir see practice these things i know it is difficult everything is there but it's not impossible we can do that have some water drink some water breathe in sir mana manas madadre yen bekaro sadhne maadabodu sir kandita kandita ಬಾಲಕ ನೀನ್ ಏನ್ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮಾಡು ಏನ್ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಮಾಡುವಲ್ಲ ಈ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಷಮಿಸಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಸರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ ಯು ಸೆಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ ಗೆಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ to forget that is i don't want to carry any negative things that person yes, did yes. because that person does not know about something there was a small kid in a school where i was going to the school there it he is a lkg student that student came to me with he himself removed the bind from his book and he told someone removed the bind from my book <laughs> i saw him he was playing with that bind he himself removed it but he could not put it back i told him who removed it he started looking he could not know whom to point to he was very good with himself he did not know how to lie he did not say anything i told did that person remove did that uh, friend of you remove no sir did that girl remove no sir did you yourself remove mm, yes i didn't said yes now at this moment i told him see if i put the bind i know i will learn how to put the bind you do it by yourself i told i teach him i explained him how to put the bind after putting a bind he took the book and just went off i called him again yadnit come here come here what do you do when someone helps you you should say something na he should tell thank you he laughed at me he did not say thank you yeah. told you have to say something do you know what you have to say mm-hmm. he said yes <laughs> but he is not telling i said him yadnit please say thank you what answer he gave is he said welcome sir <laughs> i told no no <laughs> you have to say me thank you i should say you welcome say thank you again welcome sir and he is looking at another madam so he is playing along with me <laughs> that small lkg kid is playing along with me see that can be handled by other teachers with anger bhashe badodilla one bind tekkondu nan hatrane bandkondu ange bind hakku anthe heluda hoga kutko that was the response others can give yes i did not do that i appreciated because that student came near me with the trust he has in me shouldn't i think positively about that 
Only if the small yes, kid sir. has crushed on me. Only if the small kids, only if the small kid has the confidence that I will help, he will come near me. So I should always appreciate anyone coming for help. It can be your own kid also. Appreciate them for whatever they are asking with you because they have no one else other than you. They are dependent on us. They are dependent on you and their emotions, their character, their way of handling things will depend upon how you react. Exactly, sir. That's 100% right, sir. So whatever you give to them, they will be output of that. So never blame your kid. My amma also, when I made a mistake, she scolded me. But before scolding me, she used to ask some questions. Do you agree that you made the mistake? I used to say, yes, amma, I made that mistake. I, I did not know that it would go wrong, but I made that mistake. She used to forgive me immediately. Next time, do not repeat it. And next time, whenever I was getting a chance about it, I would take care not to repeat it. She just yeah. would not blame me for the mistake. She would inquire asking if I understand that it is a mistake. Look yes, at the sir. difference here. Can you look at the difference here? Sir, that is our generation, sir. In this generation, na, kids are very good, sir. They are very kind. But yes. the parents, yeah. parents, they are na, they are making their, their the way they are growing their kids na, it's the it's that is very wrong way, yes. sir. Yes. They are um, very possessive. Pampering is more pampering. Ah, <laughs> true. I agree. Even the parents used to say the same thing. What very mistake dancer. the parents used to do in the school with the school kids was, sir. Marie, TV nodo, You'll watch at the TV, take this mobile, play some games, sir. Do not disturb me in the kitchen. They themselves are spoiling their kids. Yes. In our yes. generation, parents are expecting us to help that help our, yes. our parents. Sir. Yes. In our days, parents are very conscious about their kids, sir. Yes. So how do we come out of that? That we have to look in. Actually, that is what sir parents has to change. Yes. True. They have to change. Yes. That is very much required, actually. Yeah. You are right with that. Thank you for that uh, words, Gayatri. I appreciate. See, this is the true fact happening among the parents. Yes, sir. Even the kids also, they don't have the value what they are having, sir, now. Even ah. when, uh, when we are studying, we don't even have one pencil also. Yes. We don't even had one pencil. So for that also, we used to keep on asking our parents, Amma, I want this pencil. Amma, Amma, Amma. Finally, when we when when I was studying 10th, I got one geometry box, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no. no my... standard, four standard kids will have geometry box. <laughs> yeah, sir. Still, I'm remembering. Still, I have remembering that, sir. My yes. child... Today also I went to uh, some uh, st stationery shopping. Okay. There also she bought one uh, geometry box, but still she is not happy. Okay. Amma, I, want, I wanted that kind of, uh, means uh, specific, she's specifying yes. Yes. what she want. Yes. But still they don't have that satisfaction what they are getting. Still True. they are, even parents, we are also, we want change ourselves, sir. Yes. And one more mistake that we as a parent or we as a person do is never blame the kids in front of others. Correct. That person does not learn anything. Whatever he we teach him, next day he forgets. One parent was coming and complaining me, saying that, that my kid is not a useless fellow. I told him to learn these things. He does not remember anything. Immediately I stopped. I told, sir, stop, sir. Sorry to say, but this kid is the brightest kid in our school, sir. He studies very well. Homework, he writes neatly. Actually, he is not writing neatly. He is scribbling his notes. He is scribbling his homework. But I told positive in front of the parents. Saying he is doing his homework neatly. Learning everything also correctly. Once I told that positive thing in front of the parents, that kid got in mind, oh, 
So he's talking positive about me. The very right. next day, that kid's notes started become becoming cleaner, neater. Immediately, I told that parents after talking in front of the kid that when the, when we were coming out, I asked the kid to go to go out and play in the swing. I informed never blame the kid that he is not smart. That da anta yawatu hai badi. Never Actually, do that. It's not uh, kid problem, sir. That is also parent problem. They are expecting yes. more from kids, sir. Ah. They are leaving kids to enjoy their life. They are not active, mm. actively. They are not uh, giving their uh, means. Uh, physically, they are not active. Active. Yes. Active. Yes. True. Gayatri, you got the core aspect that I wanted to bring out of this session. We are not allowing our kids to enjoy their life. Uh, in the Correct. way they should. We are Correct. restricting, guiding. When they glow and play with the mud, <gasps> baby, don't, don't touch that. Touch. Yes, sir. Once you yes, come sir. in your hands and your stomach will be filled with germs. Didn't we yes. play with that in our childhood days? We used to make laddu of that. We used to make laddu of that. Tablet of that. Well, players, doctor, doctor, sweet shopper. Laddu, sweet, sand laddu. Mud laddu. So, so, one thing I have is that Henge education badi chai dalwa athar ashto moral gal kadam akta da sir. Morality kadam akta da life wali. Yes. So, it's our responsibility in that lines to bring in that factor. We cannot blame the institution because those institutions have become money-making institutions right now. It's not value-based education. It case, is money-based education. Actually, parents, they are thinking their kids are robots. <laughs> How the sir, it's not only the kids, sir. Yes. How? Even Makla, now, you can but now as a parent ag yoshna madaga now yes to mistake madta hai devi tumma mistake madta hai devi even i even i feel that sir because just now one a week back my turn my son turned actually two years hmm. now my wife is sending him to babysitting actually okay. i am not interested because i i told her at least at least for one year, you 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 take care of him actually, but she is not agreeing that. She's really... Okay, see those things. Are... See, yeah. kids will enjoy when they have other kids to play along. That's the reason that she might have been deciding that. See, look into one thing now. We are talking about our kids now. Look about ourselves also. Yes. Sir. Are we happy with ourselves? Are we giving enough time for ourselves? Are we playing in the sun? Are we going out to the park and being in the park among the greens? Are we enjoying no, our time with the nature? No. Are we enjoying the time with our own kids? Are we playing along with them? Sing a song. Actually, are we dancing I along with them? I am. Doing... Are we playing the games with them? Uh, that horse horse game where we play any game where you become the horse yes, and the child yes, sir. on your back yes so, sir. sir being a teacher i am a, i'm working as a teacher yes. so what i have to do is that i have to do this i have to do this i ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಸಮ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಅಲವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಿಡ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಏಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕಿಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಗೈಡ್ ದ ಕಿಡ್ ಸೇಂಗ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಹಾ ದಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಗುಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಗುಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಗುಡ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಮ್ ವೇ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ I I was playing with my kid actually 
ಹೊಡದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟ ಪಾಪ ಅವನಿಗ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎರಡ್ ಮೂರ್ ದಿನ ಮಾತಾಡಿ ಅವಾಗ ಅನ್ಸ್ತು ನನ್ಗ ಅಯ್ಯ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿತ್ತ ಈ ತರ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಏನೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅವಾಗ ಅನ್ಸ್ತು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನೀವು ಮಾಡಿ ಹೋಗೋ ತಪ್ಪು ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನೀವು ತಿದ್ದದ್ರಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಅಪ್ರಿಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನಿಮಗ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಬೈಟೆಡ್ ಯು ಯು ಕುಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಡ್ when we do that we will give a information to the kid that oh that is when pain. you bite someone it will pain you should say in words no akta ide it's paining i am feeling uncomfortable yes sir next so time after that bite in me. once uh... see there is a right way of doing everything now we are getting into the parenting side here because i know there are a lot of parents here you are taking care of your kid but one thing you have to keep in mind always think for the better way of handling things it is not only regarding your kids it is regarding your personal life with your parents with your spouse or with yourself also yes sir yes sir start the habit of forgiveness i know when someone bites you you will react by hitting them but start forgiving look for some alternative to make that person understand that that trouble which that person has given is not good when good, it comes yes. to a small kid you have to react rightly i will tell about a incident about a monkey there was one monkey which is extinct it is going to extinct only few of those monkeys are there it is in a protected zoo now those monkeys are very curious to go out of the zoo but there is one wire which is electrocuted there is electrical power in that yes sir if the yes. monkey will go and touch that electrical power to get out of that zoo they will get a shock yes. how did the trainer inform the monkey can they go near the monkey and say hey don't go and touch that wire huh? in that wire there is a shock can they do that no, no sir. what they did is they carried the monkey along with them because they are friends monkey and human beings have become friends there they went near the wire and the human being touched it <laughs> they acted as if they are getting a shock and they fell down the monkey got feared the monkey got feared and after that person got consciousness back he acted he did not lose his consciousness he acted and he come came back normal and he asked that monkey to go and touch that wire that monkey did not touch it look how they are training that monkey it is not by tying that monkey or not by hitting that monkey it is by teaching what should not be done sir actually yes guys ಸರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಇವಾಗಿನ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಲೆವರ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ ನೀನ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತಾರೆ ನಮ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಒಂದ್ ಮಗು ಮನೆನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ಪನ್ಗೆ ಕಚ್ಚಿ ಕಚ್ಚಿ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಅಪ್ಪಂಗೆ ಮಗ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಇಷ್ಟ ಅಪ್ಪ ಏನು ಹೇಳಲ್ಲ ಬೇಜಾರಾದಾಗ ಬೈತಾರೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಮಗನ್ಗ ಅದ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅಪ್ಪಂಗೆ ನೋವು ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ನನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಇವಾಗ ಅವ್ನ ಜೊತೆನಲ್ಲಿ ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಅವಳು ಅವ್ನಿಗೆ ಏನೋ ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ಲು ಅವ್ನ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಕಚ್ಚಿದಾನೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಹಾರ್ಷ ಕಚ್ಚಿದಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದೊಂದ್ಸಲ ಬೈದ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಕೆಲವೊಂದೊಂದ್ಸಲ ಹೊಡೆದು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಸರ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಕಚ್ಚಿದಾನೆ ಬೈಟ್ಸ್ ಬಂದು ಮನ್ಸ್ನ ಕಚ್ಚೋದು ಕೂಡ ನಾಯಿಗಳು ಕಚ್ಚಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ ರೋಗ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ರೇಬೀಸ್ ಅದೇ ತರ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಮಗುಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನೇಷ
it's it true <clears throat> see some, sometimes when things go beyond mm, a level correct. correct you have to go with some other alternatives i agree with that i did not say never hit a child but that should not be the first resort that should not be the first action never hit someone or a kid or anyone else when you are angry or when you are stressed out have an alternative to that look into it is my suggestion okay yes so going ahead with the fifth one you should start reading see when you read your vocabulary will increase improve you will be able to communicate better you will understand things in a much more better way when you have read one sentence without knowing that meaning of the word it will feel uncomfortable incomplete but when you know the meaning of that word you will feel much more wiser much more happy with that sentence it will put in some confidence in you also when you know a language rightly yes sir reading i know it might feel boring but that's the best thing you can do because you'll gain knowledge with that experiences also you will gain with that i know it is not as good as a mobile reading but it will start a pictorial imagination in you you might get yawning aakale ke bagbod you might feel sleepy when you are reading because that action itself is like that you sit and look at some text just read it but with mm -hmm. continuous practice over a period of time you will enjoy the happiness of reading start reading yes. some books you have the option of digital reading also now i have a tab i can't read on the books sometime because the text is very small i have to use a magnifier i cannot read small text so to ease my reading my friend gifted me a tab look at his good habit he looks into other person and he helps that person i could not effort for a tab he gifted me a tab using that tab i am reading books now that is the reason i could complete four books now all the four books are read digitally and it's easy also because i can enlarge the font easily so having good friends will help you also in this way i did not ask for that he himself identified my interest and he gave it, gave it to me it was not something like birthday gift uh, like this like that no reason just normally he came and he gave me something i found that will be helpful for you please have this isn't that a wonderful thing when you get something unexpected that you are wishing for i did not get that idea that i could do digital reading look how smart he became mm, yes yes sir so start reading it will help you a lot listen to po podcast yeah yes sir when you are cooking yes, at home sir. when you are doing some house related work when you are traveling when you are sitting silently if you want something instead of listening those bakwas music no i am not saying music is bakwas sir but instead of repeatedly listening the same music listen to some new things through podcast you will improve your knowledge yes sir instead of reading a book you can listen to a book also that option is also there now so those things will help you to improve your skills yourself your confidence your awareness about the things beside you yes sir exactly see also we must get organized how well do you keep your files in your computer how well are your photos set in the hard disk or in your computer how is how good your email is the way i got my article shipped in bengaluru was by looking into my email the chartered accountant who took my interview he asked me by giving his laptop he gave his personal laptop and said log in into your gmail actually i could have said no sir i will not log in it's my personal credential sir i don't i don't do that but i did not mind i wanted to know why he wanted my email he opened my email and so all the mails were correctly tagged whichever mail i received from my friend i tagged with his name whichever is important i starred those mails i kept my mail very organized 
junk mail i put under spam so looking at my mail he was happy that i was organized with my mail isn't that a good factor for the employee or the article student to have yes sir. yes yes so based on that i got my job isn't that wonderful when we are organized we will get appreciated and we'll get a placement also yes sir small things but it matters a lot some persons will ask for purse show me your purse it's personal but looking at the purse you can know yeah yes sir some persons will have hundreds of things in that without being organized <laughs> unwanted things they will keep in that uh, which is not required so take care of what you are having along with you keep it organized then you need to start connecting with the nature do you see the sunrise have we recently seen the sunrise i am giving time rate yes, of 10 years Whoa. 10 years ago till now did you see the sunrise any one time yes sir it's yes, not sir. on the not it's not in the movie or no. not on the tv screen uh, actual sunrise no, sir in real yeah daily yes, sir sometimes not the ah. tv sir yes see getting connected with the nature weekend go to a park sit there along with your kids family friend or alone doesn't matter look at the greens it will help you don't go at the night there eh? at 8 o'clock 9 o'clock at the night in the park eh? it won't help you go there in the morning in the evening time it will give you a lot of energy being along with the nature look at the new leaves touch it touch the leaves feel the leaves there it will also put a positive energy in you when you do positive things you will improve automatically it's a rule yeah. and whatever i am writing here all are positive things that will add positive energy into you sir belige kottambari soppu i have touch that coriander leaves sir is that enough sir No. <laughs> no sir actually that gives positive when we saw uh, surya udaya aagtiruvaga namma jeevanadalli hosa belaku bandanga agutte prati divasanave yes katteliyinda bandiro hage anisutta yes yes true so please do that so, and as i told yeah. earlier you have to make time i know yeah Not create yeah. but we have to make time for things how this sir velage vand small vand surya namaskara inda irbodu maadi irbodu true so yadaruve nature spot al agirbodu park bengaluru al agire park idu bodu atha ur al agirbodu so one positive energy barutta true matte naavu en maartivo nam makkalu kuda nu adanne follow maartare yes you need to take some rest also isn't it during the day yes yeah, sir whole day working continuously will stress out you will feel fatigued you will feel stressed and you will get angry you will feel hungry you will feel abnormal sleepy this thing that thing take some rest have a break oh i forgot to give you a break today oh it's almost 2 hours sir sorry it's okay sir no <laughs> problem i went into the flow not know the time also so take some rest during the day rest means not sleeping for 1 2 hours not that huh? <laughs> take a break you can say see like i told earlier learn new language you will have a good hold on your communication skill also you'll be able to communicate with many more persons you will understand how to twist your tongue or you will understand how to memorize things also it will help you a lot did you ever try for meditation i asked that question previously yes, yes sir hot skill did yes sir Yes, yeah. if you have tried meditation, you know the wonders of that. What happiness yes, is sir. from it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
so do it if not every day at least whenever you feel that you are free or you want some rest do some meditation it will help you a lot meditation is nothing be silent just concentrate how you are breathing if you are getting distracted with thoughts as we are human beings we will get distracted with thoughts when you close your eyes you will feel sleepy also sometimes part part of our uh, meditation but come back again look how you are breathing look how your body is feeling can you see how the blood is flowing inside you you will get those feelings when you do it rightly you will understand each and every part of the body you will try to get connected to your consciousness and one more good habit that you have to grow up is writing journal right how the day was i had a wonderful day i had a wonderful day fell down uh, on the road but it's okay i got up by myself small things you fell down on the road but don't take it in a negative way i got up by myself so write down the things that you are experiencing with that even if you do not read what you have experienced you are passing out those things into a written format that will help you a lot yes, when you go back into your book i have my journal which i wrote during my college days when i look into that sometimes i get surprised how energetic how willful how strong i am and i get back to that energy again some good helpful? Man. isn't that helpful when you get back to those energy which you have and those potential which you have yes, yes sir yes sir <laughs> So start writing journal. It did not be in this format, that format. Go by whatever way you want. In any language, it is okay. Start doing it. This will add a lot of value in you. Then start eating healthy foods. Stop all those junk foods. I know you enjoy. We enjoy. I too enjoy. But it's at the cost. Those US market based, foreign country based foods that come into India are marketed in a way that it's a prestige in life. If you eat burgers, if you eat sandwiches, if you eat pizza, you are the best person. It might be true, but it is unhealthy. Yes, sir. It will not add any positive energy in us. It will just have the happiness when we are eating it. We just bite it for one or two times and swallow it. That's it. Instead, eat something healthy. Have you seen broccoli? Have you tried eating it? It's just like a cauliflower. Have you eaten the sprouts? Moong sprouts? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you tried eating a cocum, drinking cocum juice? Cocum? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, dumb, some things which are grandmother used to do or our elders used to do those are healthy things which you should start bringing back into our diet eating some nuts almonds dry fruits, dry fruits, fruits uh, yes it will help us a lot too much is too bad but have a healthy diet of all types of fruits vegetables leaves spinach mm -hmm. will help us a lot with our bones when you want a strong memory iron content. yes iron content in that is very good you have to put a bit lemon huli solpa irbeku ilidra mai iron content feel kolukagalla tomato to so those things are some areas which we should start exploring to improve ourselves when you eat positive food you will grow positive your face will start glowing. You need not apply those cream. Cream industry will go on a loss. It's okay. <laughs> start eating healthy food. All those pimple, all those uh, uh, things that are making you glow now, you can stop those things. Cream, all those things you can stop. You can go with the natural food and that natural food itself will make you beautiful. Yes. Yes. My amma does not eat any junk food. She eats only whatever I am saying now. 
healthy food she does yoga every day she exercises she is healthy without any trouble with her health so why it is possible it is because of the good practices we have let's learn from our elders let us learn from our grandmother grandfather how healthy they are with their health because the practices are good yes sir then start breathing we all breathe but start doing it consciously do you know what is conscious breathing no sir think how you are breathing i told meditation na when you are closing your eyes you are thinking about how you are breathing breathe in breathe out oh very nice my heart beat you can feel your heart beat now with your eyes open also think about how you are breathing and breathe take a deep breath in slowly breathe out look at the ease you'll get your muscles will relax concentrate on a breath once a while at least once a day you do that it will help you a lot in getting that positive energy see getting enough sleep is also in very much required how much hours should a person sleep 7 7 to 8 hours yes 8 hours to 8 hours it depends upon that person right i need 7 hours 6 to 7 normal 6 is uh, not sufficient 7 hours will be good to me it depends upon my nature for you you can understand with your sleep awake cycle have a same same type of sleep and same type of time of awake because of the mcj class my sleep time is correct now every day i go to bed 11:30 maximum 12 and i wake up at 6 o'clock Every day I get up at six o'clock. If I sleep at eleven, lucky seven hours of sleep. So having a excuse me, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. More than me being thankful for morning class, my mother is very thankful for morning classes. <laughs> you have class, sir. Huh? So you got up. Huh? Wow. You'll be very excited. <laughs> nice, na? Huh? Good habits come with yeah. uh, good practices, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice, very nice. So. Appreciate your amma. Yeah. <laughs> He's enjoying that morning class. <laughs> yes, sir. Very good. See, just now you gave a positive talk. So using positive self talk will also help. Small things, but it matters a lot. We should start talking with ourselves positively. We should never blame ourselves. it's okay to make mistake when we do not know let's yes, learn and be a better person do you talk with yourself yes sir yes sir so do that talk it will help you a lot we can get lot of confidence uh, also so Yes. while making self talk when we see in front of the mirror ah. when we start uh, practicing ourselves yeah. we can make uh, eye contact also and we can gain a uh, lot of confidence of uh, our very self nice. very nice truly you got it rightly you should have yeah. the confidence at looking yourself first yeah then you will have the confidence at looking others yes sir very good so that small practice of looking at ourselves talking with ourselves positively when we talk with ourselves positively we will talk with others also positively positively yes sir what we give to ourselves will put it out to others <laughs> okay yes so this is 
the last important thing to improve ourselves uh, i would like to share this uh, i did not talk about one thing that is very primary to improve ourselves uh, trying dash uh, detox what is the meaning of detox uh? tox means toxication yes detox means to remove the toxication yes toxin means something which is not required by health not required by our body for example if you have taken some homeopathy medicine english medicine lot of chemicals which are not required by body side effect giving things will be there to remove it it's a very big trouble i took epilepsy tablet for almost 7 years to avoid seizure to avoid the fits sir i had to take a tablet because of that tablet it spoiled my health a lot to detox it i took many years there are 35 clinically side effects of that tablet and i was experiencing all of them happily <laughs> happily detoxing challenging. is a difficult process but it can be done rightly there is one important detox you should get right now all of us are having that bad habit small kids are also having that bad habit using mobile you got it rightly <laughs> so i did not talk from the beginning but this is the right time to say digital detox is required Yes, sir. Stop using the bakwas mobile. Stop using those social media which will never help us in our life. Those are just money making areas where other persons are becoming karodpati, and we are losing all our good time with ourselves. Exactly, sir. understand the requirement of this of all the things that i have written here you can see there are 17 points other than this sir. if you start this sir, digital detox you can do all the other things easily what is pulling all our time is <coughs> digital why the other persons are becoming smarter why they are earning money is because they are not into these things they have other things to keep themselves occupied yes sir does anyone of this apart from sumed agree with this sir? digital detox is it required mm. no sir not required huh? digital detox sir ವರ್ಕ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೊರತು ಯಾವಾಗ ನೋಡಿದ್ರು ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಮಾಡೋದು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಳ್ಕೊತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ನಮ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಜೊತೆ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ತಾತನ ಜೊತೆ ಯಾ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಗಟ್ಟಿ ಆಗೋಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕೋ ಹೊರತು ಮರಿ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಈಗ ನನ್ ಮಗಳಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಊಟ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅವಳು ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಾಳೆ ಅದ್ರ ಬದ್ಲು ತಾತನ ಜೊತೆ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಊಟ ಮಾಡು ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಜೊತೆ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಊಟ ಮಾಡು ಒಂದ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾಗರಾಶ್ರೀ ಡು ಯು ಅಗ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಅನ್ನು ಆದಷ್ಟು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಡು ಯು ಅಗ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ಹೌದು ಸರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹೌದು ಸರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೋ ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಲ್ವ ನೋ ಸರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ಈ ತರ ಭಾವನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಇಂದ ದೂರ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಒನ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಈಸ್ Oh. 
all we have is the time and we life one life all we have is okay one life but how long is our life do we know that short very short actually how long do we know that answer is yes or no options no, no sir, sir. Okay. No, sir. Then what do we know? All we have is what? What do we have with us? Time. time. Yes. What time. which time? Is it the past? Future, sir. A future is present. Future also we don't have, Sumed. Yes, sir. Present. What will happen to us tomorrow? Present, yes. sir. Present. present. Present, sir. Very good. Present is the answer. Present. All we have with us is now we have this moment with us i cannot change what will happen tomorrow i cannot i do not know what will happen tomorrow yes, sir. i do not know what is tomorrow the future is unpredictable anything can happen how long we are how long can we meet how long we can do things in further we do not know but this moment is my time and no one can steal that from me. Yes, make the most of it when you are alive. When you are alive. There is a much more stronger word than alive. You are right in that term. See, okay. all we have is now. Make the most of it when you are available. Able. 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 Are you able to make the best use of your time? Do you have the capability to make the best use of the time? Yes. Are you willing to do it is the question now. I cannot get more time than you. I cannot get lesser time than you also. Lesser time in the sense, lifespan I am not talking. I cannot remove 5 hours of this day from myself. I will get the same time as if I get it from everyone else. But how wisely I use this moment will depend how better I am from others or myself. Yes sir. Only when we are able to make the best of the time, we will be the best. So with this note, one last pick that I want to share with you. Going back here. Fortune we have to live our life when we are alive. Okay. Um, okay. I guess, uh, yeah, it's here. Sorry. I'm thankful that you connected uh, with me till now. Huh? So appreciate your patience. Huh? We are thankful that we <laughs> for your patience, sir. Not, not your patience, sir. Your willingness to uh, improve improve us, sir. Actually, yes. See, this is a picture which I draw drew earlier. Is it visible? Is my screen shared? Yes. Yes, sir. See, our expectation with waking up. What's our expectation? I am happy that I woke up early today. I will have a super day. 
the bird is coming near the window and singing you are waking up happily but what's the reality hmm not today <laughs> Every day it happens to me, sir. It yeah. happens to you? Yes, sir. Every it's, because day it's because you're sleeping late. No, sir. I'm sleeping early on the day. No clock on the she will day. wake up in one o'clock. She will wake up at one o'clock? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter is very willful, uh, willfully talking with me. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's good that you are not uh, restricting her from talking. Uh. Good. That's a good habit. Uh. Nice. So what's, what's the reason you are not able to wake up early? Every day I think, sir, today when sleeping, I will think. Morning I will do, I will wake up early and I will do exercise. Then I will start. What time? Okay. See, you are giving yourself two tasks. You want yeah. to wake up early and you want to do exercise. So two tasks is a burden on you initially. What time are you trying to wake up? Uh, by 5.30 I'll wake up, sir. Okay. What time are you going to your bed? 10.30, sir. Okay. So 5.30 is a good time to wake up if you sleep at 10.30. Tomorrow do one thing. Do you wake up with alarm or without alarm? With alarm, sir. Okay. When your alarm rings, sir, change the alarm ringtone. Okay. Put a song there. Okay. When the alarm rings with that song, you wake up from your bed, sit on the bed, don't get up from the bed, dance there. Enjoy that tune and dance over there itself. Okay. That small positive dance on the bed itself will give you the energy to get up from the bed. Mm -hmm. the problem What's the idea here? Yeah, sir. Problem is, I'll wake up by 5.30, sir. Ah. In 10 days, I'll do exercise. 5.30 to 6.30, I'll do exercise, sir. Okay. Next 11th day, what will happen? I will let me see, sleep another half an hour. Like, it will come, continue, sir. Another one month, one month it will continue. Next one, when I put on weight, now again, I'll start, start feeling. Or I so, already started my weight. Yes. In that case, you find some excuses to avoid it. Stop with those excuses. Try some reward system. Try some reward system. Huh? What you can do is you have to find an alternative to avoid those excuses. Sleep for five more minutes. Why do you need to sleep for five more minutes? Because that day you slept late at the you went late to the bed. Eh? That's the reason you want to wake up late. Eh? No, sir. When uh... That 10 days now, I will already, uh, means uh, I'll, I'll used to focus on my weight. See, when your weight has reduced with uh, some kgs uh, or some grams, uh, be happy and have a bigger target there. If your weight, take for example, is 60 kgs, you want to come down to 55. If you come from 60 to 60, uh, 59 now, say my target is 58. So you should find some way to avoid those excuses. I know what you are saying is right. I also come up with those things, make excuses. You have to find, find a way out of that excuse. You have to add some reward system. Take for example, if you enjoy doing something, say that you will be able to do that thing only if you wake up early in the morning. If you wake up late, you are not allowed to do that. Something like that. Mm, yes, sir. I, I need to do that, sir. Yes. Think for that. I can guide you with this. We can talk in regard to this, sir. Do not hesitate. Start with that. You can have a daily practice. Yes, sir. Okay. This is one more. Expectation, reality. Yes, this is our expectation. The photo expectation is like this, but the reality will be this. When we have sleepless night, <laughs> when we spend more time on the mobile, and when we don't take care of our health. <laughs> so let's not be the second photo. Let's be oh this God. photo. We'll become like this, okay? What do you want to be? Like this or this? Yes, correct. 
That is expectation. Yes. And else, that is what I am expecting from you also to know. So with this note, I'm thank you, thankful for all of your time. Huh? Have a wonderful day from now onwards, sir. I know mm -hmm. we will continue and stick up to these things, sir, which are required. Huh? It's not easy. Yes. I tell it now itself. A disclaimer to you: It's not easy at all. Only those who are willing to be the best will be able to start it and stick with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must have that hut. You must have that willingness, strong willingness to do it. Only with that strong willingness, you will be overpowering your laziness. Let's not be lazy because we are better than what we are right now. Correct, sir. Right, sir. Correct, sir. So, a big thanks to all of you. Any help, always feel free to talk with me. Be free. Sir, morning classes could have told you, sir? Yes, I'm doing it. Huh? I send the message in the group. Aren't you part of that group? No, sir. Talk with the person who you contacted with. Ask them why you are not added to that group. I've been doing the advanced accounting class from the past week. Every day I send the message. I do the classes. Now, the next topic that we will start with is uh, in advanced tally itself, there are some topics we have to complete. Huh? Then we will go with the MIS, uh, preparation of financial statement, all those things we will understand. Huh? Ratio analysis, all those things are there. So, in morning class, senior accountant to even junior accountant? Huh? Evening class is normally junior accountant. Today, it is for all the students. Morning, evening, all batch students have sent the message. Okay, sir. Okay then. So everyone, thank you for the time. I'm open for any discussion. If you have to ask me anything, I can do that. I will stop the recording just as a matter of uh, uh, things here. Then. So thank you for the time. Have a wonderful uh, career ahead. Have a wonderful personal life also ahead. Then. Let's be better than what we are. We know that we can be better. Then. Let's put that initiation. Let's put the first step right. Then, and all the steps will be right ahead. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. So thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you, sir.